Happy New Year, Happy New Year to you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Adrian Young Christian Ministries' first presentation for this year, 2023. Hope that last year had been a blessing to you. This is a new year. This is the beginning of a new year, and it is good that we start it out with God. Never leave God out of your life, ladies and gentlemen. This is the biggest mistake that many of us make because many persons believe that they are a God to themselves, and so they want to omit the one and only true God. Many persons try to replace God with themselves. Now listen to me, somebody. We didn't create ourselves. We have an owner. Hallelujah. We belong to God. And we belong to God because he created us. He manufactured us. And we belong to God because he also redeemed us. So he have a double claim on us. He have a claim on us because he created us. He manufactured us. And he have a double claim on us because he redeemed us. Glory to God. And so as we are starting this year, 2023, let us remember that if we have ended the year badly, let us start this new year in praise and worship with God. When we give the first day of the year to God, you know that every other day of the year, the 360 odd days of the year that we have left, come on somebody, we'll have to line up with the word of God. Hallelujah. As God, as God ushered us into our purpose, as God ushered us into our destiny. Hallelujah. Remember that you're a person with destiny written all over you. Hallelujah. You have greatness within you. You are designed to be great. We are serving a great God, almighty, all powerful God. And God knows nothing less than the great. Hallelujah. So God always pushed us to become great. You notice all the great men and all the great women of the scriptures, they started out humble until the Lord promote them to greatness. God wants to promote you to greatness in this year. Hallelujah and beyond. God wants to promote you to greatness, but you have to make yourself available. Many persons are where they are year after year because what? They do not believe anything that God say about them. They believe the lies that people tell them. Hallelujah. Do not believe lies that people tell you because many persons are operating under the spirit of divination. And so divination tell them all sorts of lies to tell you. And you believe divination and divination is a lying spirit. You cannot trust, trust divination. Hallelujah. Divination is the imitation version of the prophetic anointing. And so divination will tell you that you're going to die. Many persons pronounce death over your life. Some give you the expiration date with the time exactly that you are to die. And many of you are still alive to this very moment. Hallelujah. What they tried against you didn't work. Satan, what he pronounced against your life didn't work. Hallelujah. Just tell the devil, sorry to hurt your feelings, but I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Sorry to hurt your feelings, devil. I'm, I'm, I'm not cursed. I am blessed. Hallelujah. And why you're blessed? Because your daddy blessed you. Your daddy blessed you. God blessed you. God had placed you in a place where you are far better than you were yesterday. You're far better than you were the day before God had given you what many persons had desired and didn't and didn't get hallelujah he had given you a shot at eternal life many persons believe that they can find their own way to reach heaven because I hear some persons have the audacity to say that each religion every religion is a doorway to God hallelujah is a is a door to reach heaven but the Bible says hallelujah Jesus says in his word that that he is the way. That is Jesus. Jesus is the way. The truth. The truth. The truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by Christ Jesus. So man say that all religion are doors to reach heaven. But Jesus said that no man can reach the Father except through him. Because he is the only door that God had provided. You see God wants us to have his kingdom. God wants us to be a part of his kingdom. God wants us to take his kingdom but God wants us to 
take the kingdom of heaven his way. Anytime you see persons trying to take the kingdom of God any other way apart from the way that God says to take it, they are trying to take it by force. Hallelujah. They are violently taking the kingdom of God. You need to go through the door, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody that goes before Jesus will be seen as liar, will be seen as thieves, will be seen as murderer. This is what God says the thieves come to do. He says the thieves come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But he, Jesus, is come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. The devil is a murderer. The scripture says he has been a murderer from the beginning. Come on, somebody. So you need to know who is in charge of your life, whether it is God or it is the devil. And if the devil is in charge of your life, you need to renounce him because he's going to drag you down to hell with him. If the devil tried to remind you of your future, remind him of it. If the devil tried to remind you of your past, remind him of his future because his future is in the lake of fire. Hallelujah. He's going to be utterly destroyed by the almighty God. Glory to God. So do not allow Satan to use your past against you because what God had forgiven you of, God had forgotten about it. And if your heart condemns you, just remember this, ladies and gentlemen, that God is greater than your heart. Do not be making resolutions. New Year, Every New Year we hear people saying they are making New Year's res resolution. Don't open up your mouth before God if you know you are not going to pay your vow. Pay your vows to the Most High God. Better not to vow than to vow and not pay. Come on somebody. Don't be rash with your mouth opening up your mouth before the Lord. God help me out of this mess and I promise I will never do it again. Help me out of this mess and I promise I will give my life to you. And when God help you out of the mess, you forget everything that you told God that when you were in your mess. Come on somebody. Why should God be angry with you? And why should he destroy the work of your hand? It is time that you recognize that God have no pleasure in fools. God is in heaven and we are on earth. Do not vow to the Lord and don't pay. Whatever you vow, vow unto the Lord, you pay your vow. Hallelujah. Pay your offer unto God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Then call upon Him in the time of trouble and He will answer you. Hallelujah. Many of you are lost and the reason why you're lost, it is because Jesus who is the light, you're not seeking to walk in the light. You're seeking to do things your way and when you seek to do things your way, you end up in confusion. You know why? Because men's philosophy is foolishness in the eyes of God. Many of us gravitate towards reasoning rather than towards facts. The facts that God had presented before us. The fact is that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. May 2023, your year of decision. Your year to make the right choice. Many of us have been making wrong choices over the years and it has caused suffering it has caused pain it has caused mayhem god have given you a chance to make it right he has given you a chance to make a turnaround he has given you a chance to lay hold on eternal life he has called you unto eternal life lay hold on eternal life hallelujah we are unto your call make it your date to give your life to the lord if you have not yet done so why you should give your life to the Lord because anybody who lose their life for the sake of God will find it but anybody who hold on to their lives will lose it hallelujah it's the one life that you have and you cannot get another one and you don't get another replacement life so might as well you leave it for the one who created it hallelujah why you should serve Jesus because when you serve Jesus you have all power in heaven and on earth on your side because when you command demons, demons will obey you. When you command sickness, sickness will obey you. Hallelujah. With Jesus, you're going to leap over the walls of adversity. You're going to run through the troop of fear. Hallelujah. With Jesus, you're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. You're a new creation. 
Abraham. You're a brand new man. All things are passed away. You've been born again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Many of you need to be renewed. Many of you who says that you're born again need a mind transformation. Many of you who says you're born again need a character adjustment. Because though we say we are born again, we still drift. Hallelujah. We still trespass into territories where we do not belong. But listen, hear the word of the Lord. God says, who is as blind as my servant? Who is as deaf as those who I have chosen? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The servants of God gives many trouble. And listen to me. You may fall many times. But you must rise. We may fall, but we must rise. Listen, it is not how many times you fall, but it's how many times you rise. And many persons are saying, but people of all church people have been saying this about me. Church people have been saying that about me. Listen to me, somebody. People are going to talk about you until the day you die. People will always have something to say about you. Whether they like you or not, they will always have something to say about you. It's not what people call you that matters. It's what you answer to. Come on, somebody. They can change your name, but they can't change your nature. Glory to God. Your critics can say all sorts of things about you. But when persons say foolishness about you, then it's up to you to prove them wrong. Hallelujah. Many persons want to bury you alive. But in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, you're going to rise up from the dust. You're going to rise from the ashes and Christ is going to pour his spirit out upon you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Many of you have been sitting down on your calling for many, many years because you're afraid. Afraid of what people may say. Afraid of what family may say. Listen to me. The Lord says anybody who love mother or father more than me. He's not worthy of me. You should not put anything at all where God alone is supposed to be in your life. And there isn't anything that you lose that God cannot give you a hundredfold. It has not even entered into our mind the things that God has prepared for those of us who love the Lord. Hallelujah. We are called according to God's purpose. Hallelujah. You're a part of a prophecy. You're not here by accident. God wants you to be here. And listen to me, somebody. You need to understand that God have a claim on you. You need to know who you are. You're a child of God. You need to know who you are. You belong to God. Why? Because he manufactured you. You have an owner. Come on, somebody. And he have a double claim on you. I said, God have a double claim on you. He have a double claim on you because he redeemed you. Glory to God. So you belong to God. Double, double. Come on. You belong to God by creation and you belong to God by regeneration. Do not allow the devil to lie to you. Listen what the Bible say about the devil. He says he's a liar and the father of it. And you notice with lies, if you lie to a person and you get them to believe that lie, you can use that lie and control and manipulate the people. Hallelujah. That's what Satan has been doing to a lot of us. He has been using lies to control and to manipulate us. And that's why many of us believe that we are cursed rather than blessed. I used to believe that the black race was cursed until I read the Bible and realized that the black race has never been cursed, was never cursed. As a matter of fact, God don't see colors, God see people. And I used to believe because what happened of the curses that Noah pronounced on one of the one of the offspring of Ham and Ham was the first black man so one of his offspring had gotten a curse his name was Canaan hallelujah and Canaan was the father of seven deadly nations very vicious people come on somebody hallelujah so a lot of person a lot of person ladies and gentlemen hallelujah a lot of persons, ladies and gentlemen, may want to put a curse on you, may want to tell you that you're nothing, may want to tell you that you're nobody. But come on, somebody, hallelujah. 
Come on. Know that you are the blessed of God. Know that you are above and not beneath. Know, know this, that you are a child of God, that God is on your side. Hallelujah. You are walking in the blessings of Father Abraham. Hallelujah. Abraham is the father of all those who are of the faith. Those who are of the faith, ladies and gentlemen, are Abraham's spiritual children. You are a child of God. When you, bec when you become a child of God, you become a seed of Abraham. When you become a seed of Abraham, ladies and gentlemen, you're entitled to the blessings of Abraham. Hallelujah. As I said, I, I always say on my podcast, you got to ignore your critics because some persons only come on your podcast to make trouble because hear this foolish guy saying that my voice makes it hard for, uh, for him to take me seriously. Do not analyze my voice, my brother. Analyze the message that this voice is bringing because many of you, you, are, you, you spend all the time of your life analyzing people, how they talk, how they dress, how they look. When you yourself is heading down a destructive path, you need to make a U-turn. You need to turn to Jesus. And stop analyzing the messenger. The messenger brings the message. Listen to the message that the messenger is bringing. Because it is the message that will save you. Hallelujah. And what I notice with God is that the thing that we look down on, the best things of this world is what God used to confound the wise. It is not everybody is gifted with a coarse voice. So listen to the voice of the smooth talker. And listen to the message that this person is bringing. Rather than analyzing my voice, try to look where your life is at. And see if you're at the place where God wants you to be. It is not me you are to take seriously. It is the God who you are serving or who you should be serving, you should be taking seriously. I of myself can do nothing. But it is God who have your life in the palm of your hand that you need to take seriously and when God is sending his messengers to bring forth the message to you you need to take the message seriously and stop uh, criticizing the messenger listen to me God used a donkey to talk to a disobedient prophet his name was Balaam and God used a donkey and everybody know that donkeys are not supposed to talk Everybody know that the language of a donkey is eha eha so anytime you hear the donkey start talking in 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 a in a tongue that human can understand then you must know you must recognize that that is nothing short of a miracle so listen to me somebody hallelujah stop paying attention to the messenger and pay attention to the message. It is the message that is sent for you. It is the message that is sent to save your soul. The messenger is nothing, but the message is what carries the weight. Come on, somebody. The message is what carries the weight. Hallelujah. And if the messenger gets the message and doesn't deliver it, then the messenger would be guilty if your soul is lost. Hallelujah. If I had not bring the gospel to you according to the will of God, then I would have become guilty of being disobedient to God and then I would have God to answer to in the end. Many of you, all you sit down and do is criticizing others who are closer to God than you are. You need to get into a relationship with God. You need to open up your heart and allow Jesus to come in and save you rather than trying to find fault with his people. Many of you, all that you know is finding some foolishness to talk about. Come on! The scripture says that wisdom is too high for a fool. You can know a fool by the way they think, by the way they talk, what they say. As a person open their mouth, you can tell if that person is a wise person or that person is a fool. Hallelujah! A fool is known by his multitude of many words. A fool takes everything for granted. Those that are wise analyze a matter. Those that are, ma that are wise considers a matter. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear God and let your heart 
keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. It is man's duty to serve God. It is man's duty to fear God and keep his commandments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it's only fair that we fear God. And it's only fair that we keep his commandment. After all, God had given his life to save us. Hallelujah. He has called us unto eternal life. Hallelujah. He had poured out his spirit upon us. And also he had promised us an eternal home with him. An eternal place in heaven. So ladies and gentlemen, hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, you got to ignore your critics in order to be... Uh, in order to become what God wants you to become. Because let me tell you something about critics. They don't see the bigger picture. They just have their mind in a little box. They just allow the devil to have them in a little box that they can't see outside the box. They just have their mind in a little, boxed up in a little compartment that they can't even see the bigger picture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's greatness in you, everybody. And everybody have the potential to be great. So let me tell you this. Don't allow anybody what they are saying about you to stop you from doing what God has chosen you to do. God know why he chose you. And even if you have a fine voice like mine, God knows why he has chosen you with the fine voice. Use that fine voice to the honor and glory of the Almighty God. Because a lot of them who have a coarse voice isn't doing anything with their coarse voice other than making mischief with other people. You are using your fine voice to win soul and indeed it is effective because many persons are being impacted in a very positive way way yes by the same fine voice preacher glory to god i just thank you one and all for your your continuous support for adrian young christian ministries worship center and adrian young christian ministries limited i want you all to continue to pray for this ministry that it will continue to impact people everywhere hallelujah and that persons can seriously be won over to the lord hallelujah uh, join me next Sunday morning, set time from 8 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. for another live presentation from Adrian Young Christian Ministries Worship Center. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody, right where you are. I'm going to pronounce a blessing on you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Have a good and godly day. Yeah.